Hey guys, hi, hello, namaste, adabar, sasriya kaal, assalamu alaikum, wadakkam and khamba gani to all of you. Welcome to today's class and today we will be talking about list of important maths formulas for your CBSC class 10th, uh, class 10 CBSC board examinations, right? So term 1 is very near and we need to just go through quickly all the important formulas from all our important topics. Alright guys, so before I move, move ahead, all the Olympiad enthusiasts, uh, IOQM essential batches are going on and you can register for it. Uh, earlier the price was 10,000 which has been reduced to rupees 2,200. On top of that, if you'll apply this coupon code GPE Pro, you'll get 10% off and the final price which you have to pay for this course is only rupees 1,980. And this will be your Olympiad preparation batch. So definitely it's going to be worth it. Right now let us start with our formulas. So first guys from the first chapter real numbers first is a fundamental theorem of arithmetic which says that every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes you know all the composite numbers can be written as a product of prime numbers and this prime factorization is unique that is it is different for all the different numbers all right okay for example 6 can be written as 2 into 3 now uh, 10 can be written as 2 into 5 16 can be written as 2 raised to power 4 and so on right then HCF of uh, A and B when is equal to 1, then we call A and B as co-prime numbers. Two numbers will be called co-prime. Remember, there is a difference between a number being called prime and two numbers called co-prime. This co-prime thing is a relative thing. We compare it with two numbers. So two numbers will be co-prime if their HCF is 1 or they do not have any common factor other than 1, which is the HCF. All right. Then HCF and LCM by prime factorization method. Remember guys, for HCF, we will write uh, all the common prime factors. Write the common prime factors with their minimum power. For HCF, write common prime factors with minimum power. For LCM, write all the prime factors. And we don't care whether it is common or not. Write all the prime factors which are there with their maximum power. Right. Then one important formula that is HCF into LCM of four no, two numbers is equal to product of these two numbers. This is not true for three numbers, only true for two numbers. All right. And a decimal, like suppose if a rational number is given to you in the form of P by Q, whether it will be terminating or non-terminating depends upon the denominator. You just have to see that the denominator is in this form where N and M are whole numbers. That means only 2 is also allowed if only 2 is present power of 5 is 0 if only 5 is present power of 2 is 0 or both 2 and 5 are present then in this cases it will be terminating if any other prime number is present other than 2 and 5 then it will be non-terminating as simple as that all right so this is from your first topic real numbers then topic 2 polynomials First thing, 0 of a polynomial means what? Those values of x for which value of polynomial becomes equal to 0. Those values of x for which value of the polynomial becomes equal to 0. Alright, so say for example, uh, I can say, uh, say guys, ki, uh, say 2x plus 3 is a polynomial. Now I can say that if I put x is equal to minus of 3 by 2, then the value of this polynomial will be equal to 0. Right? 2 into minus 3 by 2 is minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So for a given polynomial P of x, if P is equal to 0, then A is called 0 of the polynomial and root of the polynomial. We call it 0 as well as root. Both have the same thing, same meaning. Alright? Important thing is the next one. Very, very, very important topic. Relationship between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. Quadratic equation will be in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, where a is not equal to 0. Okay? Let's say to two, two zeros alpha and beta. So remember alpha plus beta will be equal to minus b by a, alpha into beta will be c by a. c by a is written down over here. One more thing that if an equation has alpha and beta as the roots, the equation is going to be x square minus of alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. equal to 0. This is going to be your required equation. Alright? If alpha and beta are the zeros. Okay, bacha? 
ठीक है देन कम्स टू द पेयर ऑफ लीजर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज लुकिंग एट द इक्वेशन हाउ कैन वी से लुकिंग एट द पेयर ऑफ इक्वेशन वॉट काइंड ऑफ सोल्यूशन इट विल बी गेटिंग सो इफ ए वन बाय ए टू इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी वन बाय बी टू वी कॉल इट यूनिक सोल्यूशन एंड रिमेम्बर इट इज कंसिस्टेंट एंड इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट कंसिस्टेंट इंडिपेंडेंट कंसिस्टेंट यूनिक सोल्यूशन रिमेम्बर योर लाइन विल बी इंटरसेक्टिंग लाइन्स second one a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 there will be infinitely many solutions we can say it is coincident lines that means they will be overlapping each other and this will be called dependent consistent this is dependent consistent system and if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 no solution i will say the graph is going to be parallel lines and this is called inconsistent pair because there is no solution at all for a system to be consistent there has to be at least one solution so the case of parallel lines is inconsistent rest two are uh, inconsistent rest two are consistent unique solution one is called independent consistent and the coincident lines case is called dependent consistent theek hai bachcho this is how the graph look no solution parallel lines uh, independent consistent intersecting lines and dependent consistent coincident lines theek hai all right and there are two methods which we have learned substitution method and elimination method all right now coming to the coordinate geometry first is your distance formula if two points has x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 uh, the distance formula will be square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square section formula m into x2 plus n into x1 divided by m plus n and y will be m into y2 plus n into y1 divided by m plus n section formula this is right remember for section formula guys i have told you try to draw a diagram that will be easy for you all right these coordinates if you have to find out let's say it is m is to n a's coordinate is x1 comma y1 and b's coordinate is x2 comma y2 so it is cross multiply m into x2 plus n into x1 divided by m plus n m into y2 plus n into y1 divided by m plus n right midpoint formula put m is to n as 1 is to 1 if i put m is to n as 1 is to 1 it will become x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 and centroid formula is x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 and y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 all right guys now before i go ahead guys remember any problem you are facing wherever you are vedantu is providing you one stop solution for all your problems and you can learn a lot and the best feature is will be completing your entire syllabus will be taking care of each and every doubt of yours will provide you assignment so that you can practice more and more will give mock test so that you can see where do you actually stand and you have thousands of micro course to do revision whenever you want so link for registration is mentioned in the description box and gpe pro is your code to get 10 percentage off all right now next thing uh triangles have a similarity criteria so a a a or a is sufficient angle angle is sufficient sss and side angle side these are the three criteria for your similarity now basic proportionality theorem says that if we have a line parallel to this line such that two points are over here then remember i have told you that upper part by lower part is equal to upper part by lower part upper part with hole is equal to upper part with hole a uh, lower part with hole is equal to lower part with hole same ratios converse is if the ratios are same lines will be parallel so in B bpt theorem lines are parallel ratios are equal converse may ratios are equal lines will be parallel opposite theek hai area of similar triangle is remember square of the ratio of corresponding side if corresponding sides ratio is say 2 is to 3 ratio of areas will be 4 is to 9 square of that Pythagoras theorem in a right angle triangle the hypotenuse square is going to be equal to perpendicular square plus base square converse of pythagoras theorem take okay, a converse of pythagoras theorem what it says that if a triangle follows hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square then it will be a right angle triangle so a right angle triangle shows hypotenuse square is perpendicular square plus base square and if a triangle follows this then it will be a right angle triangle theek okay? hai all right now trigonometry guys remember for all this i have told you pandit badri prasad hari hari bol and sona chandi tol
साइन इज पी बाई एच कॉस इज बी बाई एच टेन इज पी बाई बी और राइट रिमेंबर परपेंडिकुलर इज अपोजिट टू थीटा बेस इज एडजेंट टू थीटा सो विच साइड इज परपेंडिकुलर विच साइड इज बेस डिपेंड्स अपॉन द पोजिशन ऑफ थीटा राइट और राइट नाउ साइन एंड कॉस एक आर रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ इच अदर कॉस एंड सेक आर रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ इच अदर टेन एंड कॉट आर रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ इच अदर तो आई कैन से साइन थीटा इन टू कॉस एक्ट थीटा इज वन sec theta into cos theta is 1 tan theta into cot theta is 1 trigonometric identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 the other two form also guys remember sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos square theta and cos square theta can be written as 1 minus sin square theta similarly here cos x square theta can be written as 1 plus cot square theta and cos square theta is cos x square theta minus 1 similarly for these two as well all right all forms you need to remember the trigonometric table is given over here very important for all of you remember sign values we start by doing 0 1 by 4 2 by 4 3 by 4 and 1 do the square root of all you get the values of sign square root of 0 is 0 square root of 1 by 4 is 1 by 2 1 by root 2 2 by 4 is 1 by 2 so 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 1 reverse all that you'll get values of cos tan value you can get by sign by cos So zero by one is zero. Here two two get cancelled. One by root three. Here one. Here root three. One by zero not defined. Cot value you can do the reverse of ten. Cosec you can do reciprocal of sine, and sec you can do reciprocal of cos. All right. This is how you can remember this table. Practice this. This is all about practice. Okay, beta. Then areas related to circles make three important formulas. Length of the arc is theta by 316 to 2 pi r because it is part of the circumference. Area of sector it is a part of the circle so theta by 316 to pi r square. And area of segment will be area of the sector minus the triangle. ठीक है minus the area of the triangle. All right. Probability very easy topic. Number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. Probability's value is always from zero to one. Sum of probabilities always equal to one. Sure event probability will be one. Impossible event probability will be equal to zero. And complementary event means probability of not happening of something will be one minus probability of happening of something. All right, beta. So this is all in this class. These are some important formulas. I have tried to be quick so that you can go through these formulas very quickly. Uh, explanation you can go for detailed explanation for prodigy videos as well. And yes, guys, you can definitely register. for vedantus pro courses the link is mentioned in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment and gpe pro is your code to get 10 percentage off all right guys so this is all from my side thank you so much for joining the session prepare well give your best and all the best for your examination i'll see you all till then bye bye sayonara khuda hafiz to all of you bye bye